Actually, it's me. Yeah, I know it's you. How's the holiday? It's rubbish. Are you still in bed? No, I'm not. Are you? Well, I was until you phoned. What time did you get there? Oh, it was really late. And then Ken had to faff around for ages, hooking us up to the gas and the electricity. I've not even braved the toilets yet. Mm. How is he? He's gone to the farm for some fresh milk. I mean, they sell proper milk in the garage over the road, but you know what he's like. Straight from the udder. Ooh! I know, that's what I thought. I just hope he's not doing it himself. Oh, hey, up. He's back. I'll have to go. I wish I was there. Uh, okay, bye. Hello, oh, is that Tracy? Yes. Any word on Peter? No. Ah, this is the life. No, Ken. This is the life. Father's a smashing chap, all ruddy face and wellies. His wife seems nice, too. Steady. Yeah, Miranda, she's called. Apparently it was her father's. She's lived here since she was a girl. So, are we going to get a cup of tea, finally? You know what I love about farming? The way it lives up to the children's picture book ideal of what a farm should be like. Yard, cockerel, dog, cat, cow. <laughs> and there's one heck of a bull. He's called Derek. You see the size of his neck? Ken, what are those? Liberatus. She said you could borrow them. What for? What time do you say his plane left? One o'clock. David suggested a really good circular walk that takes in the headland as well as that burial chamber that I'm keen to see. Will it be very ghoulish? Yeah, a handful of stones in a field. They've been there for thousands of years. The water was tepid. Well, it was nice and hot. Who's David, anyway? He's the farmer. I thought he was called Derek. No, Derek's the bull. And then it brings us out at a nice little picnic spot. I thought we were going for a meal. Well, we could go out for a meal tonight, if you still insist on it. If I still insist on it? We're in the countryside. I've got plenty of food. We're surrounded with fresh air. Who wants to sit inside a restaurant? I only meant a pub lunch. God forbid. I've already made up the picnic. Did you try on Moretta's boots? No, I didn't. I hope the weather holds. It did better. Simon goes in today. We're on holiday. Kind of. Not as yet. No. What about you? Did you miss me? Yes. You hesitated. I hesitated to gauge the extent to which I missed you. I was reflecting. Ha <laughs> reflecting my eye. You were considering the truth. You know, I saw some wonderful things when Adam started to improve. Saw some wonderful places. But I'd rather have shared them with you. No. Oh. You know, this wine's lovely. How many bottles did you pack? You know, it's a funny thing, homesickness. Feels like a genuine malady. Yeah. I'm homesick right now. You wish you were sitting by a pool. Oh, I certainly do. With a good Jackie Collins. I love it when I get suntan lotion on the pages. If only you could revel in ruining a book. Oh, it's been such a while since I've done that. Lying by a pool with the sun on my back. Maybe I'd be best off going with Liz. With Spain big enough for both of you. Is that caravan big enough for both of us? Oh, print hand, uh... <sighs> Means good afternoon in Welsh. How did you know he was Welsh? Because he's in Wales, Deirdre. <laughs> so are you. Oh, just a... <laughs> Only you can. Why it should invite so much ridicule, I've no idea. Oh, so what else have you learned? Nothing. No, no, go on. Hoffet ki gael paned o gothi. What does that mean? Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, right. And um, who were you expecting to be offering coffee to? Well, I, I thought we might make some friends. Oh, Ken, you are funny. <laughs> I hate it. funny I bought her a sewing kit. What's the matter? I don't believe it. What? It's Derek. Who? The bull, the bull. Where? Shh, Teddy, just keep walking, keep walking. Very slowly. Very calm. And don't look at it. 
I can't see any bulls. I can see a load of cows, but... Oh, my word. Uh... Don't catch its eye, whatever you do. Actually, no. Is that a bull? I don't think it is a bull. Are you sure? Look at the size of its neck. Well, I can't tell the difference. Then look underneath. They're udders. No, they're not udders. Ken, he's staring at me. So why are you wearing red? Because it goes with its skirt. Is it moving? It's walking towards us. All right, well, look, just keep moving, OK? It's not far away. Right. Okay? Yeah, we're going to be all right. So long as it doesn't start galloping. Oh, Ken, why did you have to bring us on this stupid holiday? I wanted to spend time together, get away from all the stress. Well, we could have spent time together in Spain by a pool. Oh, how fast is it walking? So this wouldn't have happened in Spain or Tenerife or Mallorca. Mallorca is Spain, so is Tenerife come from. We there. always have to do what you want to do. Well, I didn't want to be too far away from Peter, can't you understand well, that? in that case, you should have come back earlier. When it mattered, before it was too late. I would have, if you told me the truth. Oh, so it's my fault, is it? Did you drink the whole of that bottle? It's not me that's the alcoholic, it's Peter. I didn't say you were an alcoholic. Yes, I drank the bottle. I'm on my holidays. Kind of. Not here. Let you go first, but make it fast. Actually, I don't think it is Derek. <sighs> Baby, it's Meredith. Appreciate the tranquility, the silence, apart from the odd bleating and lowing, buzzards wheeling overhead. It's like a sabbatical from real life. And the air's different, it's cleaner. Apart from the smells. Beats Manchester with its smog and its drizzle. I'm sure it rains here plenty. Street soiled by 250 years of industrial grime. Our street isn't grimy. It was when I was little. You romanticise your past, Ken. That's what you do. You spend half your life complaining about where you came from and the other half going all misty-eyed about it. I'm a mass of contradictions. Can't help it. So, what should we play? Whist? Now nah, it takes too long. What about Romy? Oh, we could play Romy. What's wrong with Romy? Have you ever played Bridge? Bridge? That goes against everything you stand for. Country clubs, cruise liners, little white-haired old ladies. I haven't got anything against little white-haired old ladies. What's Canasta? It's a variation on Rummy, but in these four people. Well, we could uh, always see if the farmer and his wife are not busy. I could ask them. No, Ken! <laughs> you know, Amy and Simon had a game of Snap the other week, and it looked like a lot of fun. OK. Then Snap it is. You know, I used to come here as a boy. Well, I came here twice to North Wales. We used to stay with a friend of an aunt in Clandidno. That must have been one. Ten, eleven. Oh, we went to Fleetwood on the bus. Yeah. Childhood holidays. Ah, you're right, Ken. It is peaceful here. I could do with a bath, though. Let's play a game of snap. And then go home. Would you mind? Not at all. Oh, oh. I really did miss you, you know. Snap. <laughs> that was bliss. Now, if they only made caravans with baths in it, we'd be OK. Well, kind of. <laughs> I'm sure they do. How's the head? Ah, it's fine, thank you. Well, the kettle just boiled. And I shan't be long myself before I come up to bed. Yeah, I won't be long either. I hardly got a wink of sleep last night on that hard board. <laughs> it wasn't hard board. It was a perfectly serviceable mattress. Tenerife, Ken. Maybe. Next year. I'll hold you to that. Looks like they're back. Well, if not, these caravans that are attached to your dad's car come on. Oh, hello, you two. Hello. Oh, we were looking forward to another night of debauchery. Tracy. Well, how come you're back? If you had a house of your own, you'd have it to yourself every night of the year. So did you have fun? 
eventually. Yeah, we uh, played snap and Ken spoke a bit of Welsh. Oh, very good. Dio. <laughs> so what's been happening here? Any news on Peter? Well, um, actually there is. Why? What happened? It's bad news, Dad. Peter is back on the source. Even Simon could tell. Oh, no. What chance does he stand now? 